You guys are having a phenomenal day. Today I am talking about, um, well, basically just recapping a podcast that I listened to. Um, I listened to a little bit last night, but I actually went back this morning just to kind of look at and listen to uh, the things that I didn't get an opportunity to listen to yesterday. Um, and I was impressed. I was impressed. Kudos to the Man Hell Nah podcast. Um, shout out to Keys and Gib. Um, for having a phenomenal conversation. Um, I think that it was a little rough on them uh, towards the end um, because, you know, a lot of things kind of hit home. But I wanted to kind of give my outtake on what I was hearing in regards to the conversation. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump right into this. I have it uh, so that way I can actually play uh, some of the podcast. So I'm going to play some of the con uh, podcast and I'm going to give my commentary on it. So if you guys are just riding in your car or you're sitting down right now and you're listening... Listen to um, this conversation that happened on the Man Hell Nah podcast. Again, I think it, it validates a lot of things in, in reference to it, either you're an asset or you're a liability in a relationship. That's both a professional or a personal um, um, relationship. So I think that it, it kind of outlined not only the relationship between friends, but it also outlined the relationship for, you know, you professionally, where are you at in your life? What are you trying to accomplish? And do you have the right people around you? Do you have the right aspect and aspirations for life? So I'm going to play um, some of this podcast and then I'm going to get back to you guys. And T, Watts, LB, Dre, Gilbo, AJ, Roy, I can't, oh, uh, Tree, Tree, Wheezy. Uh, you know, anyone in uh, Rome, uh, uh, Chris, they called me, I'm pulling up. Now, we might have disagreements on certain shit, but I'm pulling up. So, I, t I say that to say this. Do you think the relationship probably severed because he was in an upward trend, like going towards his personal life? Uh -huh. And then you have always kind of been kind of complacent, like, I'm good with this. Uh... This is my thing, though. Why? Because... It matters. No, no, no. Hold on. If I'm your boy, mm -hmm. if I'm your boy and I ride with you and I rock with you, right? if I'm in an upward, upward trend, mm -hmm. I'm not going to turn my back on you because you're not on the same trend as I am. I'm going to try to help you come, get climb. As I am. Okay. But I'm not going to just stop and just focus on what I'm doing or be like, well, you know what? Uh, my niggas only like to go kick it at Carol's. They don't like to do no other shit. So I'm going to just stop fucking with them. I'm going to go do my own shit on my own. I'm not going to invite okay. them. I'm not going to call them. I'm not going to be like, hey. I mean, but you did that a little bit too. Yeah. I mean, it's been plenty of times where, you know, you don't pick up. You, you can't hang out as much. I that's, mean. That, but that's, that's, that's not. That, that, there's a difference in what you're saying. I can't hang out as much, or I choose not to call you at all because you wouldn't go to this place. Ah, okay. Get that part. Get that part. I get that part. If I say, hey, I want to go karaoke, but I know, hey, my niggas like to go to Carol. Mm. And I just say, fuck it, I'm not going to call them because they don't, they ain't going to go to karaoke. Ah. Bye. Why would you call them? They're not going to want to go. If I, for instance, mm. I like to do a lot of different stuff. Right. Um, I, yeah, I try to play the whole Go for it. Like, we they ain't look uncomfortable as fuck. <laughs> they look like he, he in trouble. We ain't always gotta go to the club. I try to set up an event where we gonna pay my shoes. You know, we go to the go for it. And most black people don't show up. Mm. So how many times are you gonna call somebody to invite them to come? You know, but they see, gonna this, but this is the thing. It's a difference if they just don't show up if they got something going on or whatever. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in right now, this is the Tough Love Podcast. I'm Mario J. And right now I'm reviewing um, a podcast that happened yesterday. It's called the Man Hell No nah Podcast. Um, shout out again to Keys and Gib um, for having a phenomenal podcast. I wanted to give my perspective on this podcast, but I wanted you guys, guys to kind of hear some of the dialogue before I kind of gave my spiel or whatever case would be. So again, if you're just sitting around, you're not doing nothing, feel free to hit play on this and we're going to listen and I'm going to jump in here periodically and give my, my outtake on this. But again, um, the overall aspect of this, regardless of what type of relationship you are in, whether a personal or professional or a self relationship, are you an asset or a liability? So I'm going to get back to this. It's, it's, if for you to just assume I'm not gonna show up. See, here's the thing. 
It'd be different if you say you invited one time. Hey, I'm going to do karaoke. Hey, I can't make it. And then you say, fuck it, I'm not going to call again. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to ask them again. That's different. Whereas if it's... See, and that's, it's for me. I hate to cry. It's, it's, for me, it's tough. See, I would invite somebody. Whatever, if I'm doing something. Hey, I got this going on. Da, 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 da. They don't show up. Cool. I still would invite them if I go back to the place. Because, hey, maybe this is the day you say, fuck it, I'm going to show up. Right. But, see, but no, no, I'm saying that this person was assuming they're not, they're not into it. Right. And they're just like, oh, man, my niggas only like to go do this. Right. They're not going to want to go do this. Like, if I say, I know Keys love basketball. Love basketball. Yeah. He ain't the biggest wrestling fan. He knows wrestling, but he ain't the biggest fan. Uh, that's a slap in the face. Everybody knows that X Pac is the greatest wrestler. Oh ever. my god! <laughs> <laughs> but, but so badass Billy Gunn out your top five? No, y'all gonna, gonna have to hang in but, there. Now we we getting to the good man, stuff. We like, getting good to the good I stuff. I just want to give y'all some some so some, Farouk, some backstory in this conversation. <laughs> Let me know if y'all can hear this good or not. Do I need to turn it up? So blue be- blue beanie don't reach your top ten. Blue what? Blue beanie. Blue the, the blue meanie. The blue beanie. <laughs> I'm not finna do this. Again. Y'all need to catch up. Uh, <laughs> y'all need to catch up on y'all wrestling game. Y'all know who they are. I don't. I don't watch wrestling either. I'm gonna let y'all know. <laughs> Rachel say you got three no calls, no shows with me, and then that's it. Facts. No more invites. <laughs> It's important we relive uh, this. I got to give my feedback on this. I got to give my tough love for this. We ain't going to be able to hear hear until we... What? Shit, we not. Yeah. We're not. We ain't gonna be able to hear. We're not gonna be able to hear. We, we just, this, <laughs> is a, this is a catch-up show. Okay, so uh, but, you wanna get? Okay, so yeah, yeah. We'll get. We'll let. The, we'll let y'all know. This, we're gonna let blood finish up, and then we're gonna jump into so some subject. So, yeah. I will say this in regards to that question. Okay, here we go. Do you? That, that's a good question. Do you feel like we will be? I. I, you answering questions right now. I say I'm gonna answer. I mean, no. You asked me. Do you think we're still? He asked you, and you held on. Then you brought it up here on the show. And did you answer? You said it'd be a great thing. I asked you the question, but I I already told this man who asked me the same question. He said he brought. I told him he brought a great question. I'm not scared to answer questions. He's scared to answer questions. Somebody better answer the goddamn question. You know what it felt like it was gonna be worth talking about on the show. Is it not? It is. So okay, so if you say say something, how do you feel about it? My thing. This is my honest. Be honest. honest. If it wasn't for the show, if, if there was no show, yes, I still think we would be boys. I still think we'd be tight. Um, only because without the show, we still would be able to sit and have these conversations, these hour-long conversations, because that's how we are. Do I feel like you know things are a little will be a little different with us? Maybe, but I still feel like we'd be tight. Mm. I still feel like we still hit each other up, still talk, still do all of that. Yeah. I believe the show just brought, gave us a chance to actually see each other more right. than we used to. Okay. Uh, do I have to answer? Yes, you have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when it first hit me, when when Dane, you first posed the question, my first reaction initially off top without conscious was, fuck yeah, that's my dog. Like, you know, if it's not the Texans, uh, damn. You know what I mean? Like, if it's not Texans, it's just general life. But I, I think that I think that we would grow apart, being because your relationship with BGK. Uh oh. Um, and I think that, especially from the way that you act now, I can only imagine if we didn't have a show to kind of talk on and meet up on and, and talk stuff, I think our relationship would, would take a big dip just because especially if you didn't, especially if you didn't get on the credit kick. Okay. Like, because where I see myself going and where I see myself at is a lot different from where I think you think you see yourself at. Okay, I'm going to pause this right now because I'm about to talk my shit. I'm about to talk my shit. So if you're just tuning in again, this is Tough Love. I'm Mario J. I'm hoping that you're having a phenomenal day. 
Um, again, we are reviewing the Man Hell No nah podcast that happened last night. I got a chance to uh, actually see the rest of it uh, today. I was thoroughly impressed because I felt like these two gentlemen did what a lot of us can't do, and that's have the tough, uncomfortable conversation. However, while they were having a tough, uncomfortable conversation, a lot of things were revealed. And it, and it kind of lets you know how your friends see you, if they see you as assets or if they see you as liabilities. And I think that during this conversation, you hear a shift. If there's a shift in this conversation, not only with body language, but with the questioning, there's a shift. You know what I'm saying? Um, the gentleman Keys um, says that, hey, you know, I see myself as goal oriented. I see myself as a goal getter, a hustler or whatever. But when he talks to his, his co-host, his friend, he kind of says, well, I don't think that what I see success for me, I don't think that you see success for yourself in the same light. So it's interesting to hear that, you know, because these guys are on the same podcast, you know, they're friends, they're homeboys. It's interesting for someone to say, you know, I'm hanging around someone, but our ambitions are different. I'm hanging around someone, but I kind of see a different aspect in regards to how I see me versus you. So I wanted y'all to hear this before I gave you the rest of my spiel. Somebody said answering the questions um, that post. I did post my 15 actually in the group. So the idea posted in the group or whatever the case would be. So I'm going to get back to this real quick. You see what I'm saying? Like, do you have a picture of your future? Like, I have a picture of my future. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Like, it would be frustrating because it would be like, okay, bro, bro I'm about to get ready to do this. And, oh, fam, you know, me and BGK finna head down to the I'm like, all right, okay, bro. Uh, just, I guess, get at me, bro, whenever. So, my thing is this. If... So you saying because I'm in a relationship? I think it'd be I'm, to, to be honest. To be mm-hmm. honest, okay. So you think because I'm in a relationship, yeah. our friendship would fall off? Yeah. Because what? Just because the 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 lack of the lack of time and the lack of doing stuff together. Mm. But this is the thing, though. Let's let's because we both grown. Of course, we're gonna have our own things yeah, to do. No, 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 no. But again, well, on that note, then let's be clear. We're all grown. Absolutely. We're all adults, right? Yes. So your work schedule. Yes. Your free time. Yes. Which was here before, did you get? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but did we kick it in all the time? Yeah. Did we really? <laughs> before BGK was Did we not go to Texan games together? <laughs> yeah. Did we not have meet up at the bar to watch okay, Texan so games? Let's, let's be clear. Did you not call me Now just in case you guys are not catching on to what's happening, what's happening is um, Keys, which is uh, one of the hosts of the show, is saying, since you've been in a relationship, our friendship has altered in reference to us being around each other. Gib, who responds back to him, which is the other co-host, says, well, hey, you know, we both are adults. We both have busy schedules or whatever. However, this show that we're doing, we come together. So I'm thinking that this will be enough to facilitate um, our friendship. This will be enough to kind of, even though we change the frequency of us getting together, this show would orchestrate us continuing the laughs, the jokes, and the conversation or whatever. However, his friend sees it a different way. So my question to you guys, how many times have you gotten into a relationship and you had to change the frequency of how often you saw your friends, how often you hung outside your household, or did your relationship consume you to the point where you're more family oriented or you're more focused on your relationship? As this conversation continues, you're going to see the separation in the conversation. You're going to see the hierarchy in regards to saying, okay, well, this person believes that this person has changed up or this person has got lost in their relationship. So I want y'all to listen to the rest of this. At least twice a week. So on Sundays, on Sundays. I don't mind it being different. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm I, I, answering I, I, this I, I, hypothetically now. See what I'm saying? That's why I wanted to wait. No, no, no. This is hypothetically. So because if I'm in a relationship and I'm, I'm now have to balance my time involving right. my, my significant other and family well see this, this is my deal involved friends yes this is so my deal with you it's like when you get in a relationship 
it's that relationship and nothing else, which is a great thing. Women love that shit. Homeboys don't. <laughs> Women love that shit. Homeboys don't. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, that's but that, that, but that, that's not true. The, no, no, no. It is true because of the 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 uh, what you've done in the past have set a presence to what you normally do. You have always been that way. But see, mm. this, no, it's not that I've always been that way. This is the thing, bro. I am. I'm no no bullshit. And I hate to say it, and it may not sound right. It may not hit be. Me, a, hit me with it, bro. But in a relationship, she does come first. Yeah. Now, I don't mean I leave my homeboys hanging. I hang out when I'm available to hang out. Right. But I can't just be like, let me stop hanging with my girl, or let me cut off the quality time that I got with my girl because right. I need to go do this with the boys. I mean, yeah, you got to have a balance to be able to kick it. With let me let me pause this shit real quick. For anybody who ain't paying attention to what this grown man is saying, he said, listen, I respect you, homeboy. I ride with you, homeboy. If you need me, call me. But now that I'm in a relationship, I got to I gotta move different. Huh? I got to talk a different conversation. I got to put in work. I got to be consistent. So, so I'm applauding that man for telling his friend, like, bro, pump your brakes. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a relationship. I have to make sure I'm consistent and I'm present and I stand in that relationship. So I can't go to the club with you every night. I can't party with you every night. So I, I appreciate him saying that. Definitely. I appreciate him saying. I'm going to let him respond, though. Let's let him respond. With your boys and all of that. Yeah. I think because of the show, I get balanced because I get to see my boy and right. talk shit and all that other stuff. I believe that other times that I call you and say, hey, Keys, you want to do this? Or whatever the case with keys, we're going. I'm going out to go do this. Okay. Or something. Like I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Or whatever the case may be. Now, yeah, at times before when I'm single, I don't have another. You know what I'm saying? Well, that, that's what I'm saying because you get so you you get so invested in your relationship. Nothing wrong with that. Congratulations. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. I think. Hey, listen. I think that was a little shade, keys. <laughs> I think he finding something wrong with that shit. To be honest with you, though, I'm a little fitted. I, I don't know. That was a little, I don't know. That's how I kind of shady. If you dive deeper into yours than most men do. Can I say something? I I think I, I because even though I'm in a relationship or whatever, right? Great day. I'm playing the game. I'm you know what I'm saying I had that free. I can go hang out. Like and then me and her, we'll plan something. We'll hang out and do our thing, but. And again, it takes a special person to be I, with me because I'm trying to figure out what JP is. I'm sorry, I was trying to respond. JP hit facts. You fucked him up. You pissed him off now. You pissed uh -oh. that nigga off uh -oh. now. But see, okay, now and this is a not. Think, this is I not think, an attack on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Don't now, get me wrong. This is, this is, this is no, healthy no, no. banter. JP won. Healthy. J JP is. It's hard for him to say that about me because his gal is out of town. You. When his gal is in town, when do you see JP? When his gal is when his gal is in town, when do you see JP? When do you hear from JP? That is a great example, and this is where I was trying to go. This is where this is. Come on, walk into it. I, this is what I like. This is this, what I was. So, I, but yeah. this is my thing. You got to be able to spend the time that you keep. Yes. Or whatever the case may be. So if JP gal was here living with him. Yeah. They live together. Yeah. And yes, he would spend a lot more time with his gal than yeah. he does with us. Yeah. Or whatever the case may be. If JP said, oh, he never gets invited anywhere. That's that's not that's true. That's a lie. Well, we know that's a lie. That's that's not true. Yeah. Uh if I don't know. Uh if a guy my thing is this. Yes, I get invested in my relationship. I'm supposed to. Yeah. I I don't think so, but go ahead. Uh oh, but pay attention. Right. Pay attention. Me. Yeah. Or whatever the case may be. That doesn't mean that I'm not your boy. I'm not gonna be there. You always gonna be my dog, but I feel like I feel like when you get in relationships, you lose track of everything outside of that. Being successful, growing yourself, taking care of yourself. God damn! Oh shit! Ah, such fire! Mm, mm, mm. God damn! What? God damn! First of all, god damn keys. What the? What are you saying to this man, huh? In front of his girl? This is a family show, huh? 
First of all, ladies and gentlemen, if your friends believe that when you're in a relationship, you are all in to the point where you are blind about taking care of yourself. You lose focus on your ambitions. You lose focus on your motivation to succeed. That is a hell of a smack in the face, ladies and gentlemen. How many people are saying, I know they're in that new relationship and they're going to stop pursuing school. They're going to stop pursuing being an entrepreneur, wanting to travel. They're going to lose focus on their shit. This is tough love, ladies and gentlemen. This is tough love. How many people believe that, that that's a true statement? When people get into relationships, they lose themselves in that relationship. How many people get out of a relationship and be like, uh-uh, I'm going to do me now. Well, what the fuck was you doing in a relationship if you're going to do you now? What was you doing in the relationship? Huh? Whether it's personal, professional, or a self-relationship, when you are in a relationship, you should not lose focus of the things that's important. You are important. Gentlemen, let me talk to you. Get your damn nails done. I'm talking about hands and feet. Get your hair cut. Get your beard trimmed. Huh? Wash your ass. Take care of yourself. Go to the gym. Do the things that you know you need to do to be successful individual. So when they ask you what you bring to the table, you bring a hey, something powerful. You bring your own table. Huh? What up? What up? What up? What up? So my thing about this, ladies, keep yourself together. Go to the gym. Do the things that you know you need to do to be successful. Don't lose yourself for no man. Don't lose yourself for no woman. And this is an equal opportunity situation. So I'm watching these gentlemen on this podcast. Again, it's called the Man Hell No Podcast. Shout out to Keys and Gib. I, I, what I'm saying is, are your friends telling you that you ain't living up to par? Are they forcing you to be better? Are they pushing the envelope when it's time for you to say, you know what, bro, you ain't quite there yet, but I'm going to help you out. This to me, send a, a, a high message of, you know what? I'm with you. I hang around you. You cool. I, hey, I love you like a brother, but I don't think you quite on your shit yet. I don't think you quite on your shit yet. And I feel that I feel I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? I feel that energy and it's like, well, the first question is, as a friend, have you been helping him get on his shit? That's the first thing. The second thing is, why is it taking so long for a person to realize, well, I'm not quite on my shit? I'm going to let them talk some more. Y'all go ahead and hit share. This is Tough Love. This is Mario J. We are doing... Uh, recap on the Man Hell No podcast. Shout out to Key. Shout out to Gib. I wanted to give a tough love spin to this. So I want y'all to listen. Just sit back, listen to them talk or whatever case may be. Again, it's two gentlemen having this conversation, both friends, and both do a weekly podcast, uh, both known each other for a little while. And it's interesting to hear this conversation. Check this out. You get so selfless that, for instance, and I know the type of dude you are. And I'm finna get into it. I'm probably gonna get some backlash for this. BGK showed up over here. Nice looking. Got herself together. Da -da. You show up here. No haircut. Chilling. Like, you see what I'm saying? You get so invested in other people that you don't take the time to cultivate yourself. And grow. How did y'all... Did, did y'all feel like that was shade? <laughs> what the fuck, man? I, we gonna tell her I ain't got no haircut, man. I'm in front of my girl, man. You're some dirty mother. <laughs> I can't with this. <laughs> I can't, man. That was some shade, man. That was some shade. I don't give a fuck what you say, bro. That, that was some shade. You know what I'm saying? I know he tried to explain some shit, but goddamn, bro. I'm sitting here in front of my girl. Now she looking at my damn non-having haircut ass and shit. The next time you come on this podcast, you better have a goddamn haircut, Gib. God damn it. Grow yourself. And that, that bothers me because I'm always not only trying to take care of a relationship, but I'm always trying to grow myself. No. Let your man answer. See what I'm about. You see what I'm talking about. You see what I'm talking about. So let me let me let me let me say something real quick to y'all. Ladies, anytime men are having a conversation, and vice versa, anytime women are having a conversation, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. 
I'm going to say this because your man or your woman should be able to handle their own conversation. And if you interrupt, if you try to interject and talk over them, it shows it shows the, the, the dominance in, in that relationship. And you never want to interject too much to let someone else you know, not, not be able to speak up for themselves. So always understand what's going on. Now, shout out to, shout out to D, you know, cool, definitely cool uh, female. But when your man is in the hot seat, let him be in the hot seat and show him, show people why he's your man and vice versa. When you in the hot seat, own that shit, stand on your 10 toes and say, listen, this how this shit going to be. And this is what I do. Be confident. That's what's sexy. That's what men do. So make sure that you you own your shit. Like, hey, I got it. Fall back, baby. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Own that shit. You know what I'm saying? Own that shit. So let me get back to this. Yeah, you say that for sure. You want to get on me tonight. We do. Gotcha. Like I'm saying, why are you so self? Like I'm saying, like it's nothing wrong with. It's not that I'm. Uh, I'm so. I will honestly say this, bro. I spend a lot of time focusing on other shit. No, don't say other shit. I'm dead ass other shit. You spend a lot of time focusing like today, on other Like today, I could have went and got my hair cut this morning, but what I do, I went with my mother and spent time with her and went shopping and all that. Get her out of the house. Right. I focus on other shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I I, I went to go see my boy. Okay, 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 okay. So, so I got about five more minutes of this in me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think the podcast was good. I'll make sure I put the link in the description. Or, matter of fact, I got some of the people in there. Make sure y'all put the link in the description or whatever case may be. Um, however, here's my thing, y'all. This conversation should have been had, but I think it should have been had before now. You know, that, that, that was good. That was, it's good dialogue, but I think that conversation should have been had before now. I don't want to hang with nobody who don't think I'm ambitious. Do you hear what the fuck I'm saying? I don't want to hang with nobody who think that, you know what, Mario needs to continue to work on himself, but he ain't working on himself. And I damn sure don't want to find out in front of hundreds and thousands of people what you think and what your thoughts are. Pull my ass to the side as a man, as a woman, sit me down and explain to me, hey, I've been watching you and these are the things I think that you can improve on, especially if you respect me, especially if you feel like, hey, I have the potential to be great. So I'm saying to you all that it's great to be able to have that fresh dialogue. It's definitely good for the show because it's raw and it's fresh. But make sure before you get to a point where you have to have the tough conversation out loud in front of the public, you have it in private. This, to me, should have been over some beers in the backyard at a barbecue. Hey, let me talk to you, bro. And probably in a one-on-one setting. But again, you know, they chose to do what they chose to do. But I want to ask you guys something right now. How many of your friends are you challenging to be better? How many of your friends you think is subpar and like, it, let's say some like you have a business venture or whatever and you say, well, I can't call her because, you know, and I can't call him because, you know. My question is, are you are you making these people better? Let's talk about credit keys. Come on up in here, boy. Come on up in here because I know credit your thing, credit my thing, too. So here's the thing. If I'm working on my credit, let's say I'm at a 768. I'm trying to get an 800 by goddamn first of the year. You got a. A 615. And I'm I'm on a daily basis and I'm talking about credit. I'm talking about, hey, did you see this? Did you see that? Hey, let's go dip this, let's go do this, pay this off, et cetera, et cetera. But you ain't worried about it or whatever. That's not, you know, you're not, you're not excited. You don't want to have that conversation or whatever. We probably are gonna grow apart. We're probably we probably are not going to be on the same wavelength. The thing about it is you gotta decide what type of relationship you want with the people that surround you. So if that's your support system, if you if you say, you know what, this is my homeboy, that's my support system. This is my homegirl, that's my support system. This is my significant other, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have to make sure that what you value as being important, the people in your support system also value that. Because if they don't, you're always going to have that lopsided conversation where you're not as ambitious as me. If I'm working out, three, four times a week, and you never work out, we're not going to see eye to eye when it comes to physical fitness. 
Because I truly believe if a physically fit person, for the most part, is a mentally fit person and vice versa. I think that those two key things, they lead to other avenues in, re in reference to what you believe spiritually and how you conduct yourself mentally. Like how you treat people. Like mo most people who have a positive attitude about themselves physically and mentally, they project a positive attitude towards others. That's just facts. So if you're a sorry-ass person and you got a bad-ass attitude, my thing about it is you, nine times out of ten, you, you might not be taking care of yourself like you're supposed to. But do your friends believe that they're more ambitious than you? Do they, do they feel like you get lost in relationships? Are you allowing yourself time to develop? Or are you one of those people? You're a rebound person. How many people know rebound people? Like as soon as you get out of a relationship, you jump back into another relationship. Like you, 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 you go from relationship to relationship to relationship and you never have time to get to know yourself right now. If you, if you guys are in a relationship, how many people can actually say, if I was to break up with my significant other right now, I could leave, go get an apartment or a house, whatever, whatever is in your budget. And I could pay the first month rent and the second month rent afford to either furnish the house or rent some shit to get the house. And put groceries in the house and pay all of the bills and I would be good. I wouldn't need no help. How many people in that type of position? I ain't playing with y'all. Y'all know what this is. It's tough love. How many people in that position? How many people? Now, we ain't got a front for social media. We ain't got a front for Mario J. What I'm saying is, in this conversation, it, it, it to me, a lot of good things was pointed out. And one of the good things was pointed out was... Um, Keys has said, he said, if you get out this relationship, are you in a position to go take care of yourself without using your family, without sleeping on somebody, one of your homeboys couches or without going back to your ex? Are you in a position to take care of yourself? And to me, I had to sit up in the chair like, OK, let me hear him. Let me hear what he's going to say. And he said, hey, I can go back to my people house and then go get my shit. And I think to me, even though. Keys was kind of like, some of that shit was shady, Keys. But even though he was saying what he was saying, he was indirectly and directly saying, bruh, you got to make sure your shit's together. It's all cool to be in a relationship, kumbaya, sucking and cool. But you got to make sure that if, if, if this lady leaves you, that you good. And I ain't talking about going to a mama house, a daddy house, grandma house, mighty mouse, Mickey mouse. I ain't talking about none of that. I'm talking about having your own shit. If they say, get the fuck out my house right now. Do you have your own shit? Do you have your own shit? I could love you to death. But the thing about it is if we, for some reason, we clash and we got to go our separate ways, the question is, do you have the money and the access to credit to get your own shit? So I applaud this man for telling this other man that, but I feel like at this particular time, if I knew you over 30 days and we had this conversation before we got live on, on, on this damn public thing, then I got to question how it comes out now. Because if you truly believe that this man is not of, 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 I'm going to watch how I say this part, but this is goddamn tough love. If you believe that he's not at the standard you are, then you as his friend need to help him as much as you can. Because what I didn't hear is what you did to get him there. Now, I can understand men, 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 basically, hey, that's my homeboy. I've seen you go through this relationship. I've seen you go through that relationship, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what's so funny? Here's what's so funny. What's funny about it is Gib asked Keys, you know, was there any woman that ever helped him? And he started running down names or whatever. And Keys said, no, I'm going to call bullshit on that, big bro. I'm going to call bullshit on that one. Because I believe that every time you're with someone, they help you. They might not help you financially. They not help, might not help you emotionally. But there is something you learn from that situation to help your maturity level. Even if it's what you don't want to be with. Even if it's what you don't want to be like. You see what I'm saying? It, 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 it helps encourage you a little bit more. Something about that relationship motivated you to either one, not be in that relationship. Or two, to say the next relationship, I'm going to do things a little bit more different. 
I don't give a fuck if she just made you a good bologna sandwich, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do something. You know what? Next time I'm going to have fried bologna. So I think that we need to give credit where credit's due. Again, hell of a podcast. I thought it was dope. Um, I think there was a lot of uh, conversation that needed probably to be had in the background or whatever. But these type of conversations can definitely lead to more things because it's things that's deeply rooted. It's things that's deeply rooted. If you really li- like, I, I know some people who know these guys like, like in depth, they like, you know, they have a certain type of look. But when you look at, to me, I see both angles here. You know, I see a man that says, you know what? I feel like I'm ambitious. I feel like I'm a go-getter. I feel like I'm out here and I'm winning. And I see another man that say, yeah, you out here winning. But the fact of the matter is I've been focused on my relationship. I've been focused on rocking with my girl and building that up because I value that more than what you value. Some people may value materialistic things over family ties. You see what I'm saying? It, it all depends on what you put in your, 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 your repertoire to say, this is what my legacy is going to be. Is credit important? Hell yeah, credit's important. But is family important? You damn right, family is important. And nine times out of ten, when your when your friends are not there, hopefully your your family's there. So I can see both gentlemen's argument. I think they both have a point. Um, I just would have loved to see Gib kind of stand in, in in that hot seat a little bit more and kind of bounce and reflect some of that bullshit back and say, "Hold on, dog. Wait, hold on. You know what I'm saying? You may value the shit that you value." But you can't devalue the shit that I value and say that I'm not on your level or I'm not ambitious or I'm not a go-getter because I don't value the shit you value. Everyone has a different level of success. Some, for some people, it's going to get a small cottage in the woods somewhere. I'm successful. You know, I don't have to pay nobody. I don't have to be around neighbors. And then for other people, it's a condominium in the middle of Manhattan. So it's all about what you value. And I wish that Gib would have told Keys, hey, bro, I love you. But what we not going to do, <laughs> what we what we not going to do. You know what I'm saying? I got love for both of these guys or whatever case it be. I wanted to throw in my two cents. I'm going to let a little bit more of this play and then I'm going to close out the show. I hope that you guys get an opportunity to listen to this. Um, I just felt like, you know, it just needed a, a, a neutral party. To kind of give some tough love or whatever. So again, I appreciate you guys listening. I'm going to play a little bit more. And you guys leave in the comments what you think. Um, and hopefully these gentlemen see it. I put their uh, uh, the hashtag in here. So hopefully they come back and they share it on their page. And, and they have the conversation. And, 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 and feel free to say, hey, either I'm dead wrong or I'm hitting on something. But um, I'm going to play a little bit more for just just for back backstory purposes. Boy, man, and talk about some other shit. Get on some, some other stuff. Or whatever the case may be. I could have went and done all that, but I chose to go do something else. Or whatever. That doesn't mean that I'm selfless. Or whatever the case may be. That just means I focus on other shit. You thrive on other people's happiness. And that would, see, he would say that's selfless. If you thrive on other people's <laughs> happiness, that what he would say that's selfless. He would say, no, you need to be selfish. You know, don't help this selfish. nigga. Don't no, help this nigga. That's what he would say. <laughs> that's what he would say. He would say, no, you need to be selfish. You need to focus on Da, 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 da. Because Keys, I know Keys. See, we get this. Now, here come, the, here come the slight shade chop, but I'm going to take it. No. Nope. And I'm going to move on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to take it. And I'm going to be like, chop. Keys will say something like this. Keys will say, hey, look. And this is just hypothetical. The Keys will be like, hey, well, what happens if you and BGK break up? That's not gonna happen. What the <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what happens? But that's what Keys would say. Keys would say, what happens if you and, and, and you and BGK break up? Now yeah. you're sitting in a situation where uh, you didn't get yourself right. You're not in a position to bounce back. Am I wrong? So focus on Am I wrong though? Or whatever. Am I wrong? Hold on. I'm wrong because you know you have no parachute. No. Oh. I don't know. But let's be clear. Everybody has been in that position. Everybody has had to take it as no smart people don't put themselves in a position. Okay. Okay. Here we go. It's it looks like I ain't done yet. God damn it. Gil, yeah, what's up? So check this out. Key said that you need everybody needs a parachute. And then Key said, you know, um, smart people don't put themselves in that position. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say something. 
it is it is it is hard to find somebody that's ready made. I'm about to say some real shit to somebody right now. It's hard to find someone that's ready made. What do I mean by ready made? That means that person that you like, that you think that has all of this great potential because you're sexually attracted to them and you didn't have this great conversation and something has sparked a little bit. They may have a car, but they ain't got no house. They ain't got nowhere in their name with the lease on it. Okay, and then vice versa. The person may have a, a house or a, a, a apartment, but they may not have a car. So both of you together make a whole situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? That means y'all compliment each other because you're both struggling at the same goddamn level. But you talking your shit. You talking your shit. You said, you know what? I realize we're not where we want to be right now, but this is where we're trying to get to. So here's the thing. I don't think that when you're trying to get to somewhere, I don't think that you can be sidetracked. I don't think that you can be sidetracked. I think that you guys need to be focused on where the hell you getting to. So I can understand Gil saying, check this out, player. I ain't hanging out because I'm focused on where the hell I'm going. I ain't doing a lot of shit with the homeboys because I'm focusing on with my girl where the hell we need to be going. I'm just saying. Everybody don't come ready made. Now you got some people that's they hard pressed. Hey, I'm trying to fix my credit. I'm trying to save my money. I'm doing um, investments. I'm buying properties. You know what I'm saying? I'm networking. I'm doing the things that I got to do to be successful. Now the question is, those same people are they in a relationship with those same type of people, or are 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 you trying to fix them up? Are you trying to fix them up? And you really don't care to, to worry about having a parachute because guess what? You already got more shit than the person that you're dealing with. So you basically getting somebody for the fun of it, for the hell of it. And it may not be a long-term situation. So you got to, first of all, you got to analyze the conversation and the people in the conversation and how they, they see and view things. If I'm only looking for ass right now and I'm not thinking wifey material, then of course, I'm not worried about spending a whole lot of time with her. Of course, it's a come and go type situation. You understand? Versus me saying, well, I'm really feeling this person. I really see her as a wifey. I really see her as a role model. I really see her as the mother of my children or whatever case may be. You're going to invest more time. So you got to understand, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the different denominator in that situation. What do you value? That should have been Gibbs answer to, to, to keys. What do you value most? Is it credit or family? Is it time with your homeboys or is it this? So, so give him a balance. You got to set the tone for the conversation. So therefore everyone knows, okay, this is why he thinks what he's doing is more important than what I'm doing, but to each their own, to each their own. I'm gonna let y'all hear a little bit more. So what happened with Crystal? Didn't you I'm, still, I'm still here though. I still have my own. I'm still here. I'm, I, <laughs> you haven't. You, I'm saying you not. Your relationship is not in in turmoil. So you see, what I'm saying. Well, well, what I'm, but, I'm, but I'm saying, if BGK said, you know what, Blair, give me my key. I'm going home. Got gotcha. you. Have a good day. Okay, and you saying I can't yes, bounce back. the same position he was in when we got together, just like you still in the same position that you was in when you and Crystal broke up. Exactly. So you see what position I'm in. What position oh. would you be in? You see what I'm saying? What position? Hold on. He called it what? Selflessness is a beautiful... Hold on. Oh, yeah. We missing out on comments. I'm sorry, y'all. We saw... We, right, we, we have it so... Okay, so, so that's what I wouldn't have did. I wouldn't have worried about the comments. I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have worried about the comments. Give I wouldn't have worried about the comments. He said, "What position would you be in?" This is when you boss up, bruh. This is when you smack in the mic. I'm gonna break my microphone. <laughs> this is when you smack in the microphone and you talking your shit. What position I would be in? Shit, I'll be good, player. I'll be straight. I'll go get my own shit. I would have never ever said, "Well, I'm gonna go back to my people house, you know, and then I'm gonna get my own spot." Right now, this is this is where I feel like he was giving you some tough love because me personally, what I would have been saying is, well, right now, even though I'm in this relationship and I'm, I'm committed to this relationship, I still I'm still saving money just in case for a rainy day. You know, what I'm saying just in case shit don't work out. You see what I'm saying? And I don't know if that was his way of saying, make sure you're doing that shit or 
if he knows you enough to know that you're not doing this shit. See, here's the thing. I think sometimes when your friends hang around you, either they feel like you on your shit or you not. You understand what I'm saying? They feel like you on your shit or you not. Like if you come get Mario J, you know that Mario J is going to bring certain things to the table. You understand what I'm saying? So if you don't call Mario J, then you feel like Mario J won't bring those things to the table. But what we can't do is be at the table and you're discussing how you don't think I can bring shit to the table. You understand what I'm saying? I think they're at the table right now. I think they're now having a conversation about how people really feel and how people really see one another. And the, and the question is, at what point in time do you say, yo, brother, let's analyze this shit. Let's really look at this shit and say, hey, look, what is important to you and how can I help you as your friend? I'm going to get back to this. It's a beautiful quality. So clearly, it takes a person with a beautiful spirit to put others first. <laughs> um, what's up, Tree? Um, no, I didn't say that you couldn't talk. I said in that moment, when he was when he was trading water, I didn't want nobody to say it. <laughs> in that moment, I just, I'm just saying. Like, okay, so let's go. Let's go back to the example. Crystal left me. I didn't miss a beat. Mm. You leave Blair. He's gonna miss a few beats. Stop, Bruh. Stop. I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna stop it right there. I hope to God that anybody that knows me on a personal level, I don't give a damn what relationship I'm in. I hope to God that they never ever in a motherfucking life fix their lips to say, if this person that he's with leaves him, he's going to miss a beat. Do you hear what I'm saying right now? I hope they never fix their dirty lips to tell me I'm going to miss a beat as if I don't know my worth, as if I won't make it without them. We can't have that. We can't have that. The person I'm with don't make me. Okay. The person I'm with don't, don't, don't prevent me from taking the first step. Don't for, per, per, prevent me from reaching my goals. You understand what I'm saying? It's a self-initiative. You know what I'm saying? Self-esteem, god damn it. The, the key word self. You know what I'm saying? So if, if my friends don't believe that I am strong or powerful enough to do this shit on my own, then why the hell are we friends? Because now you're saying I need you and I don't fucking need you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, I mean, come on. As a man or a woman, never let someone feel like you need them. No, I chose to be with you. I want to be around you, but don't get it twisted. I don't need you. That's a difference. Never let somebody sit there and say, I'm going to miss a beat. You're going to miss a beat. You ain't going to miss no goddamn beat. Don't let somebody tell you what you're going to miss or how you're going to fail if you're not with X, Y, and Z. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tough Love. I am Mario J. I'm going to stop this shit right here. If y'all want to go check it out, go check it out. The Man Hell No Podcast. Um, shout out to Keys and Gib or whatever case me again. I thought it was great conversation. Um, hopefully I gave a good perspective. Um, if not, you know, feel free to disagree. Um, I, I, I'll check out the comments below. But um, the key here is either you're an asset or you're a liability. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't believe that you are a asset, then you will be a liability. Until next time, a daughter, Mario J. I'm going to holler at y'all.